What's up? We're Jimmy World. You're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. Uh, the new record is called Bully I Do. It's, a, it's an old psychiatric term um, from, uh, from France, obviously, uh, that translates to the shared madness of two, and that's kind of really what it means is just when two people have this kind of, they kind of share an obsession and insanity, and it kind of it gets exponentially greater, and it's untreatable ultimately. Um, and we use it kind of metaphorically. It's a, the record's a little bit of a satire, <coughs> satire about um, the selfishness, basically. Um, so that's what the record kind of is about. But I also, at the same time, I don't want to. Um, I feel bad when I say that because I feel like it's like such a serious answer, such a you know, such a um, maudlin answer or something. But uh, given that. So an another not serious answer is that it's about whaling. Whaling, yes, it's about whaling in Iceland, which is what they should do to take up their economy. It is also aesthetically like it's a fun record. We had a, we had like a fun time listening to the record. We had a hard time making the record, but it, it was really, it's I'm really proud of it and I listen to it a lot. So. When we collaborated with Fall Out Boy, Neil Avron, and we collaborated with Pharrell. Uh, so uh, the rest was mostly nasty. You know, we had uh, Elvis Costello, Doug Perry, Lil Wayne, and then uh, French Bard, Kenny Disco, Jimmy Class Heroes, Cat Diaz, Cab. Three guests that stand out against the rest of because the rest of the, the rest of the guests are our friends. Um, well, and well, Lil Wayne's a friend of ours too. But the and Elvis Costello. No, uh, but but Elvis Costello, Debbie Harry, and, and Lil Wayne are three people that we really respect a lot, and we wanted to, um, uh, you know, sometimes when I'm singing stuff or whatever, I get to a point where I'm like, I don't, because I think Pete's lyrics on this record are so, are his best and are, they're so important. And I was so. They're so good. He doesn't get to say Yeah, you nailed it. Yo, I, you nailed it. I, yeah, think, I think they're really good. So when writing it, I was like, there are certain lyrics that I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to sing. Like, I'm good enough to like support, support this, so I wanted. I'm glad somebody like, I'm glad yeah, Jesus say that. Jesus Christ, man. Someone can finally say that you're not good enough to sing. Not, not good enough to sing. We've been trying to tell you this for a while, dude. <laughs> thanks. Not, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for putting up with me for a second. But um, not good enough to sing. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted I wanted somebody with more like authority, with something more, you know. Um, and I think uh, I think I think those three people really added it to it. Not that's not to the little um, you know Brendan from Panic and Disco who came in and he played piano and sang a sang a whole song with me or whatever. And that was a completely other experience. It was totally cool, but. Um, yeah, so that was how the guest kind of came to be. We, are, uh, we, are, we don't have any U.S. tour plans currently. We're going to Australia right now. We have some dates planned in, in Asia. We want to we, we want to be invited. You know, we don't want to just crash the party. You know, so call us up if you want us to stop by. We'll play.